Alright lads and lasses, <clears throat> it's another Bolshak Presents video. This one's more of a tutorial than a skit comedy or whatnot. And I've been getting a lot of questions and comments and whatnot on about the bagpipes. People want to know um, this and that about it. And uh, what I did, I accumulated all the questions, took them all, planted them up, and I'm going to go through them one by one. And hopefully this will answer your questions, get things going, and uh, be, so I can be a help any way I can. So, question number one. What made you want to start playing the bagpipes? Um, it's going to sound silly, but the first time I saw Braveheart, I was hooked. And just the little parts where they threw the bagpipes in at, at Wallace's father's uh, lament at his funeral or whatnot, they were playing you know, outlawed tunes on outlawed pipes, and I loved it. And in one of the big battle scenes, the Scots are intimidating the English. They're lifting their kilts and yelling and screaming and hooting and hollering and whatnot. And if you look in the background, you see bagpipers. And I saw that and I'm like, oh, that's what I want to do. I love that. So I always got the kick out of the, the war factor of the bagpipes. Question number two. How long have you been playing the bagpipes? Uh, I started playing the bagpipes in the year of our Lord, 1999. Uh, right after I started with the Union, uh, I found out that they had a pipe band. And that's what got me rolling, and uh, I learned as quickly as I could, and got out in the street with the with the uh, with a set of bagpipes. So uh, I started. I, I've been I've been playing for a little over ten years now. Question number three: Who taught you how to play? I've had a variety of instructors uh, over the past uh, ten, eleven years now. What uh, main ones? Johnny Pipes, uh, this guy Tom, call him the Pipe Nazi. So the guy Don, I call him Mussolini, because they're both a very strict, very regimented when it comes to playing. And just a variety of other players, and just one thing I will tell you, and I will share this with you, is play with as many people as you can. You can, no matter how good or how bad the bagpiper is, you can learn something from them. You learn how to do something, you learn how not to do something. So that's something you could take from this, is play with as many people as you can, and be open to criticism, because you're going to get it. You're going to stink when you first start, so there's no help in that. Question number four. You don't look Scottish, so why are you a bagpiper? It's a common, common misconception that the, uh, the bagpipes are Scottish, and th that every bagpiper is Scottish or Irish. Uh, the bagpipes were originated in Egypt, and they worked their way around the world, and now they're, in, of course, they're in America, they're in, in uh, Canada, they're all over the place. And I'm not Scottish, I'm Italian, I'm Irish, I'm German, I'm Norwegian, I'm a mutt, I'm American. So it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. As long as you've got the passion to play, it doesn't make a difference who you are or what your nationality is. As long as you like it and you've got a, a love for the music, you're, you're going to play. It doesn't make a difference. Now, question number five. What do I need to get started? Several things. You will need a piping book, learn how to read the music. You don't need prior musical instruction or uh, 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 any kind of uh, prior musical experience. It helps if you do, because it'll help you learn that much faster, but if you don't, don't worry about it. The younger you are, the quicker you learn, the older you are, you can still learn, just if you've got the heart for it, you'll like, yeah, learn it. You need a practice chapter. Uh, this is so when you're learning, no one kills you, because the, uh, the noise is a lot quieter than obviously the bagpipes. You'll need a tuner, a chromatic tuner, just to keep yourself in tune with the other bagpipers that you're, you're working with. Get a digital metronome just to keep you, uh, your your timing down so you learn where the beat falls in the music you'll be able to march to that and you'll have a much easier and much more uh, enjoyable time playing the bagpipes on the street and with some with other players and of course once you get rolling then you will need a set of bagpipes and of course that's not going to come for quite a while it takes about a year and change to learn how to play this thing and then once you're rolling that's when you're on the street playing question number six what kind of bagpipe should I buy well the set that I showed you are a set of Contail KB2s um, they are African blackwood. From what I've heard, can tell uh, doesn't use the quality wood that they've used to in the past. And um, a lot of uh, pipers that I've heard of aren't buying them no more. So what you're going to want to do is look up Nail, Gibsons, or uh, Henderson. I hear they they make fantastic pipes. Shepherds are very good. That's the that's probably the way to go. Uh, like I said, I don't know much about Cantails and what they've been doing lately, but I haven't heard many good things about them. But the ones I have, I've had for ten years. They last me a lifetime. Question number seven: Where should I go to learn how to play? If you look around locally, the fire department, the police department, uh, the VFWs, the American Legion, look around, you're, Google it, go online, 
the area that you're in, just type in bagpipes. I'm sure bagpipe band, pipes and drums, core, pen, by whatever. You should be able to find something locally or nearby or not. Their, their instructors are everywhere. Yeah, so you've got to be, but I can't stress enough, you need an instructor. You're not going to learn from a book, you're not going to learn from a video on YouTube. You need someone face to face with you to tell you you're doing this wrong, you're doing that right. You need someone to help you out. Right. Number eight, is it hard to learn? It takes time. It's, some people it's easier, some people it's a little bit harder, it just takes time, it, the more time you put into it, the quicker you're going to pick it up. That's all I can see. Question number nine, what do you wear under your kilt? I've been asked this a thousand times. Uh, on a bad day, talcum powder. On a good day, lipstick. Um, for the most part, it's the, you wear shoes and socks, it, it's just, you know, it's uniform. Question number ten, why is Ryan Seacrest famous? I don't know why that question was asked. I don't see what that has to do with the bagpipes, and I don't know why he's famous. I don't see any uh, talent. He's not a singer. He's not an actor. I think he's just a safe haven. Like he, he doesn't. He's not profane. He's not gonna curse on TV or curse on the radio, or whatever he does. And I don't, honestly, I don't particularly care for the lad. But hey, people, uh, he's doing he's doing something right because he's making a lot more money than I'm doing. So. And question number eleven. What's with the Scottish accent? I developed a brogue shortly after I started playing. I can't drop it. I tried. My family's had me going to a therapist, and it's not helped. And it doesn't seem to hurt anybody. Just people that annoy people left and right, and yeah, whatever the chicks seem to dig it. So I just work with that. So hopefully, this video uh, could answer any questions that you might have as far as learning the bagpipes, or if just you were just inquisitive. And if you have any more questions. Shoot me an email, send me a video response on YouTube, and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Alright? Take care, lads.